Okay. And inspiration comes from the book of Numbers, like I mentioned, Numbers chapter 14. We started with this journey looking at the character of Joshua. Joshua is an interesting character. He's a type of Christ, you know. Joshua is the assistant of Moses. Uh, Joshua is walking with Moses. When Moses goes to the mountain, Joshua is there. When Moses sends Joshua here, Joshua is there. Because you cannot uh, look at Joshua and fail to look at Moses. These two were the same WhatsApp group, following each other. They are there until the time Moses now died. But right now, today, we look at uh, these children of Israel that were near the wilderness, just a few days from coming from Egypt, now in the wilderness. Now God tells Moses, no, we'll take a few people, let them go uh, to the promised land and take a look at the land, whatever prepared for you, the promised land, that is just for you. Go take a look. So Moses uh, took a few men, like I mentioned, like I'd asked at the beginning of the show, how many men did uh, Moses send to spy on the land? They were 12 men. Remember the children of Israel, they, they, they were like from 12 tribes. So from each tribe, Moses picked a leader. From each tribe of the 12, uh, from the 12 tribes of Israel, they were 12, uh, remember Jacob had 12 children, now 12 tribe of Israel. Now Moses picked a leader from each tribe and send them to spy on the land. And one, and two of those men, they, this Joshua and this Caleb and the, the list that I read, Hosea, of course, is just Joshua. Uh, Joshua, you can, uh, there's a different way you can spell Joshua in Greek, in, in their Hebrew language. So there are parts they call him Yeshua, Yeshua, uh, Yoshua, Joshua, still it means the same person, Joshua. So Joshua is among the men that go spy on the land and they went there. Moses sends them, they go to the promised land. They stay there for 40 days spying on this land, going from each corner. After 40 days a lot, going from one corner to another, to another, to another. I'm sure they transversed that land. They were able to touch every corner to see all the men that were in that land. And after that, they came back. Now these 12 men, they all came back with different report and our inspiration vibe we've titled it the joshua report because we want to focus on the joshua report because in your life actually you need to focus on the report of joshua this other report gonna discourage you 12 men go out and spy they come back 10 people they all say ah that land is amazing your la that land is amazing it has milk honey you mention it good fruits hey what the land is fertile they give Good report of the land. Ten people. They are saying the land is okay. The land is okay. It is tick. If this is God who has ordained for us, tick, 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 tick. He good, good. You are really this is really great from God. But there was a but for, from these ten people. They say there's a but. But that land we can't conquer it. This land has big people. People from uh, the, the, the Anaks, they are called the Anaks. These people were giant. We are just like grasshopper before them. These people are great. I'm sure they had machineries. They had all the, they were strong men. They had all the armory. They had the machinery. If it's going to all, they will kill people in a second. These people are strong. And we are just like grasshopper before them. They, they discouraged the whole land of Israel, the whole people of Israel. Say, man, no. Kama ni hapa mungu wamesema tuende. Enyewe land liko fiti. But wase wako uko. Atwezi wakonka. It's a no, no. We cannot do it. So they discourage the children of Israel. The rest of the people. And these people they just. They went against God. They, they said no, no, no. Ukundo penye mungu nataka tuende. Zi atwezi enda. You know they were so discouraged. They started rebelling against God. And they, they even went ahead and said like. You know what. Let's elect a leader. To rule Egypt. <laughs> They, they are forgetting the Egyptians. They are forgetting Pharaoh and his, and his men. They want to go back there to slavery. I, it's like, we, let me just break it down to you. I was say, Mungu amekubariki, Mungu asha kuheal, Mungu amekuburi. Pengine ya uli kuna trust. God will start business. All that God has given you. Now God is giving you like a small challenge. You know what? This step we kanyaga fiti. I want you now to take a whole stair. Eh? Na juu manzisha bizi ya kitu tenke. Mi nataka unibelieve uanzisha bizi ya 100 million. Ya like zi, ntato api yodo. And you start doubting God. 
You start doubting God. And in the middle of doubting, you're rebelling against God. You're being disobedient to God, to his word and to his promises towards you. And in that scenario, rebelling has consequences. Sinning has consequences, whether you like it or not. These children of Israel, God said they will not enter that promised land they saw or they heard of. And for sure, for those 40 days they spied on the land, God said they will stay in the wilderness for 40 years and they stayed in the wilderness for 40 years, meaning each day represented a year. Come on, they spy for 20 days, when they cut 20 years. But when they spied for 40 days, they stay for 40 years in the wilderness. And in that 40 years, they all died in wilderness. And God said this generation will not see the promised land. But uh, the, the next generation is now the one Joshua took the promised land. But look at Joshua's report in Numbers, for, um, Numbers 14 from 7 to 9. Read with me, all right? Uh, but let me just start at 16 so that you can see. But Joshua, Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephum, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes because these people had rebelled against God and said they and 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 they spoke to all the congregation. Uh -huh. This is another version that they said the one I'm reading, right? NKJV says, and they spoke to all con the congregation of the children of Israel saying, the land we pass through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into the, this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord. Joshua tore their clothes because of the report these people were giving the, the, their, their people, the people, the rest of the camp. It was, a, it was a negative report, a discouraging one that made them rebel against God. It is not good. I don't know what I'm It's not good to see the promised land. Sometimes you can rebel against God and not enter this promised land. But let me encourage you today, just like Joshua encouraged the children of God. If God delights in us and this is what he has promised us, surely we're going to see it. But true to the God's word, these, all these generations, they all died in the promised land. Let that not be your portion that you're going to die without seeing the promises of God mm. because you rebelled against him. It's better to trust. Because I'm wondering these people, Aki, ak, God akapat Red Sea. Akaswa lo fero na amiyake. Ana opravadia mana. Usi kuwa koda siji cloud over them. They have this, this siji fire over them. They were protected. Their clothes do not grow old or do not grow weary. But still they doubted God for this promised land. And I was, God was like, you are just exactly like that. God can give you something, you even forget he blessed you and he promises you this thing and you say this is too big. Ah, yo ni kubwa, zi God wezi make. Yo ni kubwa, mi atastaki, woo, mi staki. And you rebel against God and you die without seeing the promises of God in your life. May you be that Joshua and Caleb report where they give positive. If God delights in us, we are going to see the promises of God in our life. Receive that for this new month. I know at the beginning of the month you wrote up resolution for this year. And some of those things, you have not seen them, you're still waiting upon them, you've grown weary, you want to give up, yes, yes, you want to give up, but I'm here to encourage you, just as God said, you're going to see it, with the annex or in that land, God is going to provide for you, God is going to give that which you're trusting God upon, he's going to fulfill his word, he's not man to lie, he has never been. He's not son or man to change his mind. No men change their mind. God cannot. As long as you're saved and you're trusting and believing in God, please go collect that list where you, wherever you wrote it. Come back to it. Continue praying and trusting God upon that list. All right? All right, guys. Continue this series because Joshua, lazima tufike na promised land. To Tafika. <laughs> so join us next Sunday for the continuation of the Joshua series. I hope you've been blessed.